In this video, we will look at what is an algorithm. Generally, to solve any problem, we need a plan. For example, to construct a building, we need a plan. And based on that plan, construction of the building can be completed. In the same way, to solve any problem in computer science, we need a step-by-step -step procedure. These steps are a set of instructions to the computer to solve a problem and has to be executed in a finite amount of time. Algorithms are not only used in computer science, we can use algorithms in everyday life, even though we do not use the term algorithm. For example, in cooking, we follow a set of instructions, such as in case of baking a chocolate cake, we follow the instructions in the recipe. So, an algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure for solving a problem. In computer science, algorithms are used to solve a wide variety of problems, such as searching, sorting, solving complex calculations, and complex tasks. The algorithms can be implemented using different programming languages and executed on the computers to get the result or the output. Having said that, let us look at the definition of an algorithm. An algorithm is a finite set of instructions that accomplishes a particular task and must satisfy the following criteria. The first criteria is the input. There should be zero or more inputs provided to an algorithm. The second criteria is the output. The algorithm must produce at least one output. The third criteria is the definiteness and feasibility. That is, each step or instruction must be clear and feasible. The fourth criteria is the finiteness. When algorithm is executed, then in all cases, the algorithm must terminate in a finite number of steps. The fifth and the final criteria is the effectiveness. An algorithm must be effective. That is, every step or instruction must be basic. Therefore, an algorithm is composed of a finite set of steps, each of which may require one or more operations and must satisfy all the five criteria. An algorithm can be expressed in simple language which we speak or can be expressed using flowchart or using a pseudocode. So, to solve any problem, we start by developing a solution in terms of simple words. For example, let us consider the problem of finding the largest element from a given set of elements. The solution in simple words would be to consider the first element as the largest and examine all the other elements to find the largest element. Though this statement describes the solution to the problem, but it's not an algorithm. In fact, this statement is known as an informal algorithm because there are several points missing, such as how and where are the elements stored or where will be the largest element stored and how to examine all the other elements. So, an informal algorithm needs to be converted into an algorithm. This is done using pseudocode. Now, for the computer to solve the problem, the algorithm must be converted into a program because computers do not understand algorithms. They only understand programs and remember algorithms are not programs. So, since algorithms are not programs, they must not be described using any particular programming language. Instead, the algorithms must be written in pseudocode. That means algorithms are independent of any programming language. Then, finally, to implement an algorithm, a programmer can use any programming language such as C or C++ or Java or Python to convert an algorithm written in pseudocode to an executable program. So, an algorithm is a finite set of instructions that accomplishes a particular task in finite amount of time.